dinner means a little bit of chaos and a lot of love. Just like everybody else, I have a budget, but it's actually super affordable. I'm Tamara Day, and I'm gonna take your family dinners from ordinary to extraordinary, making you feel special and a little elevated from the everyday. Come on in, join us right here in my home for a delicious family meal. You don't have to leave home to go to the hottest new restaurant in town with my fancy spaghetti carbonara and an elegant black and white tablescape. When dinner is this decadent, who wants to leave home? And it's under $4 a serving. Let me show you how it's done. I'm gonna start with the pasta. I've already got the water boiling, so we're gonna crack four eggs and we're just gonna whisk this thoroughly blended. And then we're gonna start adding in the cheese. So. I'm gonna just do a little bit at a time, and really incorporate it. So you wanna save a little bit of cheese for the dressing at the end. Delicious. Okay, now let that sit, and now we're gonna brown the pinchetta. It's basically fancy bacon, but tastes amazing. You wanna make sure that you're not overcooking your noodles. And the other big thing is, in the last two minutes, you wanna throw the carrots and peas right into this sauce to cook those with the noodles. So this will just all cook together. You know, it's fairly unusual that we get to have a date night, and especially a date night at home. With four kids running around, the house is never quiet. But tonight, we've got all the kids taken care of. Eleanor's at Grandma and Grandpa's, the boys are out having fun. So it's the perfect night to stay in, make a fancy dinner that feels like we're going out, but for $4 a serving, we're saving a ton of money staying home. So you can see the pancetta is starting to get golden on the edges. You just want a little bit more. And before I forget, I'm gonna grab a cup of water out of this. The pasta water I reserve so that I can put this in with the cheese and eggs. And this is what's gonna cook those eggs. But we don't wanna scramble them. This is the one trick is just letting that cool just a little bit so it doesn't scramble the eggs, but cooks them just right. The noodles are done. I'm gonna drain these off. Okay. The pinchetta's done, and now it's time to cook the eggs with this little bit of pasta water. So I'm gonna add this in real slow. So what you're trying to avoid here is scrambled eggs. Nobody wants scrambled eggs in their pasta. This is meant to turn into a beautiful creamy sauce. So the boiling water is super hot and you don't wanna to add too much too fast or you're just gonna scramble it. There we go. So we've added about a half a cup of pasta water. And the reason you use the pasta water instead of just tap water or boiled water is it has the starch in it from the pasta. So it helps hold it all together, adds that flavor that you're looking for. Okay, so next step, add the pinchetta and get all that flavor in there. The egg and cheese. We're just gonna toss this all together slowly. All right, dinner's ready. Now I need to go get ready. It's date night. Bill's gonna be here any minute. I've got this beautiful tablescape all set up for a nice cozy night at home without the kids. I didn't wanna make it super fussy. We've got a delicious dinner. We've got a black and white vibe so that the pasta, the carrots and the peas just pop out. And it's just a monochromatic palette that makes for a really nice relaxing evening. I wanted to use what I had, so I used this beautiful cutting board as a breadboard, mixed it in with a fun little bowl. I used a wooden pedestal for the chocolate-covered strawberries and using my gray vases with candles instead of flowers and, of course, a wonderful decanter of wine. What did I do to deserve this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, I want to do it again. Don't you love this glass? I love it. I think that's the most fun. It's fun. I hope this episode inspires you to create your own date night at home. See you next time.